When it broke out, there were reports of someone shooting off illegal fireworks. Cal Fire says the cause is still under investigation tonight. Alyssa Harrington back with us now. Alyssa, how are things looking this evening? Yeah, Terry, the fire now at more than 1900 acres and there are 2000 firefighters from all over the state helping to battle these flames, but it is not easy. They are working against a very rugged terrain against wind and heat, and they really say they need some help from Mother Nature in order to put this thing out. Now, here's some video. This fire started on Wednesday, so we are on day four and hundreds of residents had to be evacuated from their homes. Now, the fire is threatening communities in Iowa Hill and also off of Yankee Gym, so we have close to 300 to 400 people out of their homes and we've learned today that the fire destroyed one house and three outbuildings. So here at the evacuation center where we are, people are getting pretty nervous, hoping that firefighters can put this thing out before it grows anymore. But I'll tell you, it has grown 500 acres since last night at this time, so it is moving fast and we've learned that winds are going about 10 to 15 miles per hour down in the canyon, so it's basically moving faster than it can be put out. But again, we are on day four, shows no signs of stopping. Firefighters on hand, getting ready to protect those structures and hopefully put this thing out. And also, this is not cheap to fight the fire. Total cost at this point, about $1.7 million. Terry. And Alyssa, I know there are a lot of anxious homeowners who are wondering where that home burned. And I'm wondering if you're getting any information from Cal Fire, what street, what location that house was on. Well, that's right, Terry. I did put in a call to Cal Fire, and they were still trying to confirm where exactly that house was that burned. We also know that three outbuildings burned as well. Uh, last I heard, the threatened communities were in Iowa Hill and off of Yankee Gyms. So that's what we're thinking at this point. But again, nothing confirmed. I will tell you, though, one thing firefighters are telling us is that a lot of these residents did have defensible space around their homes, and that has been helping out a lot. Terry. Yeah, and chances are they want to notify that homeowner before we notify them. Thank you yeah. for that update, Alyssa. Cal Fire says about 300 people are evacuated. They live in the area of Yankee Gym's